Welcome back to another Me and Bonnie video. Now, um, for those who don't know, we moved. Um, and it was a bunch of stuff that we didn't take. So I just had to go rebuy a bunch of dishes and stuff. So, um, I just went to Family Dollar. And I bought some stuff. You know, uh, crock pot, rice cooker, low chopper, blender, stuff like that. Um, and yeah. I want to use some of this stuff to see if it's, you know, how good it is. Because usually when I buy stuff, it either comes from Best Buy or Walmart. But uh, all of this stuff is like $25 or less. The stuff that I usually buy from Best Buy and Walmart be like in the 80s to 100s and everything. So, you know, I just want to see, you know, how, how these joints do. As y'all can see, this joint ain't the biggest. The one that I had before my old house was, was way bigger. This seemed like something that you would have. It was just like you, your girl, one kid, something like that. But as y'all know, we have a family of seven. So I'm going to do something, you know, I'm going to make chicken wing dip. I feel like chicken wing dip is something good for this size. Dips, soups, stuff that like don't have a lot of volume, stuff that you're not, you know, using a bunch of meat in. I think that's primarily what I'm going to use this for. Um... I, I am gonna make stew in it next time. I got some um, some lamb loins that I'm gonna put in there um, when they thaw out. Probably gonna do that like next week. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna see about what what it can handle and what it can't. But it seemed like you know stuff like dips and soups is is good, and then stuff like stew, you know things that are thicker and have a lot more ingredients inside of it. That's when it could start probably getting problematic but um other than that any questions on um the hair i wanted singles and tamia decided to do this for me and anything about my eye i have a scratch cornea um i can open it it's just sensitive to light so i just keep it closed um but anyway <laughs> my fault but other than that let's get into it chicken wing dip so usually i get the canned joints but I seen these, this seasoned rotisserie, uh, you know, chicken when I uh, went to Aldi's. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna be using these. I like to go to Aldi's a lot because um, they have stuff that other stores usually don't have. Like, um, they have this this goat cheese blend that I like to use that I can't find at any other store, and they usually have the blue cheese crumble. That way, I, I can use some ranch. And then I could also use the blue cheese um, crumble instead of having to use the ranch dressing and the blue cheese dressing because I don't I don't like that. Um, but they didn't have it that time, so I'll be doing this without the blue cheese crumble. So we're going to start by taking these two and we're going to get them inside a pan and we're going to just heat it up. That just it looks so cool. Because in person it's red, but on the camera it's like this bright violet fuchsia color. But um, anyway, you know. Um, just heat it up. It don't matter how high you put it on, how low you put it on. We just, we just getting it warm through. Now I did taste it. You know, I was still cold and everything. And I'm not going to lie. They said season and it, it, it is seasoned. You know, it, it tastes bare minimum though. It's like, um, it has like a lemon garlicky flavor, like really strong lemon and almost nothing else. Like if I was to have cooked this, I would assume it had like lemon, garlic and like black pepper. That's pretty much it. So me, I like my chicken wing dip spicy. So all I'm going to do, because like I said, it does actually taste seasoned. It's, it's pretty good. Is I'm going to just hit it with just a little bit more spice. So smoke paprika. Uh, for the color and for the spice. Like I said, I taste garlic. So I'm going to just hit it with a little bit of onion. And the secret ingredient, gotta go with a little bit of Zazon, or whatever you pronounce it. This would look like, I don't know if it's Zazon, Zazon, all I know is, you, you gotta put it on there and everything. Would y'all believe me if I said this only half a packet? <laughs> Cause I already used the other half of it. And then you want some greenery. Now, you don't want something like parsley for this. 
and you don't want something like basil because basil's um basil is my favorite greenery i don't really know how to describe it but it's something that like you only really want to use for certain type of dishes this type of dish if you wanted any type of greenery greenery in it any type of herb you would want some oregano so that's how i'm gonna put it now as y'all can see it's cold and it's a little dry so i'm gonna hit it with some oil and i'm gonna come back and let y'all see how it look but this is pretty much about what you want now remember this is not a cooking channel this is just something that i enjoy doing I don't know proportions, I, I haven't balanced anything, weighed anything out, measured anything. This is, <laughs> I've just been cooking for a real long time and I, I just know what I'm doing. So, this is not traditional chicken wing dip. You, you wouldn't Google this and find this. I've just been making it for a very long time and I, I'm comfortable being able to tweak it and do what I want to do. So, some of the stuff that I put in it is not going to be traditional. You know, and that's fine because I like the way it tastes. So, yeah. So, after you do this, you want to get yourself like a, a mixing bowl. And then you want to make your um your wet ingredients. Alright, don't laugh. Turns out I did not buy mixing bowl sets. So, I'm using a pot. <laughs> so, um, usually I do four packs of uh, cream cheese. Uh, for some reason, I only bought three. Either that or I can't find the fourth one. So, you just take it. You open it. And you drop it in. Now, usually you would want these at room temperature. I just, you know, like I said, it's not a cooking channel. I didn't have none of this stuff prepared or prepped. You know, I just got up and started doing it. So, yeah. These are, uh, these are bricks. <laughs> bricks right now. And uh, the problem with that is when you go to mix, it'll get all clumped up in your, um, in your spoon. And it'll be all hard to come off. And now you got to keep on taking your finger and scraping it. And it, it just gets messy. So that's the only thing. It's not going to make the food taste any different. It's just going to, you know, make it harder for you to mix. And then make you have to keep on getting your hands dirty. But this is my ratio, you know, whether I was cooking for my seven people or if I was cooking for a party or, you know, just me. The ratio that I usually go on with is two bottles of buffalo sauce. I use Sweet Baby Ray's. Um, I have some Anchor Bar right here, you know, but Baby Ray's is usually pretty good. You know, it, it gives me the... The consistency that I want. I'm not going to use a full two bottles. I'm going to use one and a half about. You know, depends on the color and the taste. I like things hot, but then I got to factor in my kids who do not like things hot. So, <laughs> got to factor that in. Now, it's going to look like a lot. I'm telling you that right now. But, when I mix everything and I pour it into the crock pot, you're going to see, oh, so that's why he needed so much. Because it, it really does get to that point where it's just like, yo, this is this looks like a lot of sauce. Am I using too much? You're not. <laughs> it might look like it, but you're not. All right, so this is pretty much what it's supposed to look like. As y'all, I had to take it to the stove top so I can get it melted down a little bit. But as you can see, there's still some, you know, bigger chunks with the cream cheese. But that's fine. So you're gonna mix it and then you're gonna taste it. Monster and mama. Now that's um real tangy and on the hot side. So I'm gonna put some more of the ranch in, mix some more of that in so it can mellow out a little bit and get that creamier taste. Yep, so that's pretty good. So now, I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna take my chicken, and I'm gonna mix that in. So you're gonna you take your chicken? Any of this cheese, honey? Mm -hmm. You wanna try any of the cheese in here, babe? No. Any of the cubes or any of the, yeah. No. Mom, 
Because you bought them. Anyway, so you're going to take the cheese, I mean, the, the chicken. You want to use heavy weapon for you? No. And you're going to mix that in. That was a good idea, right? So, Not at all. Come here, excuse me. I said, come here, excuse me. I know, guys. Y'all miss me. Y'all like, uh, where's Tamia? We want to see some of Tamia. Here you go. I love y'all. I know y'all wanted to see me. Yeah. It always got to be Tamia or it's not all right. Okay. Just had to brag. Anyway. <laughs> so, you're going to mix that in. And then after that, you're going to take your package of cheese. For me, we're going to use this. We're going to use our mozzarella. We're going to use our sharp cheddar. And we're going to use our Kobe Jack. So, let's shut that off. Sprinkle a bit of milk. Remember, it's a dip. It's unhealthy. Nothing you do is going to make it healthy. So go ahead and do what you got to do. There's the Kobe. Well, no. That was the cheddar. There's the cheddar. There's the blended Kobe Jack. Now, remember, this cheese is particularly for you know, the taste, the flavor, and everything. The mozzarella, on the other hand, is not for the flavor. The mozzarella is for the cheese pull. What the mozzarella does is, it's a skim cheese, so it's really stretchy. And it's like the glue that makes, uh, you know, all these YouTube videos when they make it. Well, I can't even really say that because I've never seen a YouTuber make it right. But uh, it makes it uh, have that nice stretch to it. So, you want to go in pretty good with that, you know. Like, not as much as when you use the other cheeses, because you're going to mix this part in. And then, after you mix these cheeses in, you're going to go back over the top. So, that way you can have, like, a, a kind of cheese crust. So, you're going to go heavy with your, other, with your other cheeses, and then light with your mozzarella cheese when you're mixing in. But then, when you lay it on top... They're going to go light with your other two cheeses if you even choose to put more cheese in it. And you're going to go, you know, heavy with your mozzarella cheese. Now, I was looking in the fridge. I could not find the, what's it called that I bought? The um, goat cheese. Uh, the tomato basil goat cheese. It's really good because um, goat cheese is pretty tangy. Like, it's almost lemony. And I like lemon a lot. And heat and lemons is like my favorite thing ever. So, it makes the chicken wing dip blend really good because now it's hot and, uh, and tangy. But I can't find it. So, you know, it is what it is. Type of topping water besides the cheese. But, go ahead. Taste that. You know. Yep, you can taste the seasoning from the chicken. You could taste a little bit of the meltiness from the cheese already. Because like I said, the chicken's hot. I had to heat up the sauce a little bit already. So you can pretty much right now get a taste for how it's going to be. Because this is almost exactly what it's going to look like when it comes out. It's just cooking longer. The sauce is, as you know, are ready to eat. The chicken is already made to cook. You know, it's kind of like Chinese food. You know, you want to use the leftover rice chicken wing dip you want to kind of use the leftover chicken you don't want to really use fresh because you don't want all the juice you want it to be pretty much dried out so um yeah how it looks right now when you put it in it's only going to go like you know 20 minutes half an hour however long you want it to go but pretty much like this is <laughs> how it's going to get so now i'm going to transfer this into this and i want to see how much of that gets filled up so let's see if it goes all the way to the top. Let's see if it goes somewhere in the middle. Uh, yeah. Leave it in the comments where you think it's going to fill up. I think it's going to probably overflow, to be honest with you. And good news is I was pleasantly wrong. We're not all the way to the top, but we're nowhere near in the middle either. So 
we're you know pretty much at a good spot so that's fun but yeah that's that's pretty good right there so now um this hand is kind of wet so i'm going to take my good hand i'm going to sprinkle some cheese on top so give me a second and that's pretty much how you're going to have it me um i like baking it more than the crock pot method i feel like with the baking it sets more and it gets you know more um more solid but when you crock pot it uh, <laughs> crock pot it it gets more soupy you know it's more thin um so it's whatever your um consistency you want whatever your preference is and then here are the chips that we're going to use me i prefer kettle cooked chips and um i like my chips plain when i eat chicken wing dip so there you go and everybody else likes you know the flavor like nacho cheese this type of you know chip doritos in particular so that's the one that i got for them but yeah so now i'm gonna put the top back on and it's gonna cook for you know on high probably like 20 minutes 25 minutes maybe half an hour i'll check on it see if it's bubbling or boiling you know and um depending on how it looks you know i'll just eyeball it because like i said there's no real direction to this it could cook for as long as you want it you know there's really whatever your preference is so so now we got it plugged in now we just push it back so no kids get hurt turn it on and we'll see what it does now remember this is a video not just about how to make chicken wing dip but it's also about seeing you know if any of this stuff is worth it in case anybody's balling on the budget or just need something real quick you know so yeah so me having cooked with crock pots a lot in my life yeah this one's decent you know the size i prefer mine you know more oval way bigger you know stuff like that so i can make really big roast and really big size um you know dinners so this one isn't particularly the best for me but you know as we've seen i was able to make chicken wing dip that i usually make for the size of seven and i always have leftovers and this pot was able to hold all of that so like I, I you know assumed earlier when it comes to soups and stews and stuff like that yo you'll, you'll be fine dips you know and all that but yeah so size wise i guess it's decent um as far as aesthetic you know it's a nice silver you know and black um the glassware is clean and everything so that's cool but what i did notice is you know when i plugged it in and i turned it on there's no um like a uh, led you know like i can touch it and i start it from the back so I can feel back here that it is getting hot. Whatever mechanism that's inside of it, it's heating up. But I don't like how there's no, you know, nothing on it. My old one, now it had this little blue interface where you can um, set the time and everything. And you can also, um, you know, it, it automatically switched on to warm whenever it was done. And, you know, it told you when it was hot. And everything now this this doesn't tell you anything you know it doesn't tell you when it's hot it doesn't tell you when it's cooling down you have to manually adjust everything yourself and I don't like that because that means that if I was coming down and you know I wasn't reading it or anything like that and I just decided to move it out the way real quick so I can get to something I could burn myself because it's not there's no indication of it being on other than the fact that it's plugged in and that it's switched to high but you know being plugged in doesn't necessarily mean that it's on and you know yeah i don't know chuck it down to just me not being careful but you know since i've had more high-end cooking wear i don't like how bare bones this one is but for like i said like 25 dollars at a family dollar how you can get all of this stuff for you know literally like a hundred bucks you're fine you know that food processor is fantastic the rice cooker cooks rice and the blender holds a fair amount of stuff to me has been using it like crazy and she hasn't complained once so i guess the um blender is good too but as far as i'm concerned eh, crock pot hit or miss i don't know it does a good job just not what i like but yeah um i'm getting off i will take a picture of the uh chicken wing dip because like i said how it looked when it was in the pot it's pretty much exactly what it's going to look like when it comes out the crock pot it's I'm telling you, it's, it's identical. The only difference is in the pot, it was warm. In the crock pot, 
the flavors blend together a little bit more and it's going to be really hot but um i'll just take a picture and i'll post it but um thank you guys for tuning in thank you for learning how to do chicken wing dip and thank you for hearing me rant about my um new crock pot so yeah if anybody is moving into a new house or wants to get somebody just a quick little gift yeah 25 dollar crock pot it does exactly what it's supposed to do if it's not a big family it does you know it will yeah sustain them and do what they need to do you know like i said a family of two family of three it's fantastic for its money you know 10 out of 10 but for my family seven people um the type of meals that i'd be making uh you know like a five you know i wouldn't be unhappy if somebody were to give this to me so yeah me and vani vani signing out